grind, stacking money, so you know my cash long. Gwen was that's the move, so they gotta put on. I just wanna gain no love, shorty, keep your pants on. Hi guys, it's Rain Alexis. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're gonna be doing a mukbang slash giving advice to my subscribers. I asked my subscribers to send me like different situations that they're in that they need advice on and we're gonna go through them and give you guys our advice okay so we're just gonna show you guys the snacks that we have okay you show the first one so we got it's hitting Goryums, everybody's favorite childhood snack the original honey ones and then we got twizzlers the strawberry con we got uh, frosted animal cookies and then these Jolly Rancher Chew things. These are good. Animal Cracker Originals. And that's it. Because we ate the rest of the snacks. And we got our little Wendy drinks. Oh, uh, yeah. If y'all haven't had this before, y'all need to get hit. It's the peach lemonade from Wendy's. And it's the strawberry lemonade. It's good. Alright, what you want to eat first? Um, Twizzlers. No, best for last. These? Sure. All right, we're gonna be eating the animal crackers first. So the first situation, I'm becoming a mother in August. I'm only 18 and currently unemployed. My current boyfriend is not the baby's father. I've received so much hate from other females, but they don't know my situation. I'm starting to think I won't be a good mom. Like they all say, I just don't know how to deal with all the hate. You want to go first? Want um, your advice? No, you go first. I'll add in. Okay. I would just say that it doesn't matter what other people say. As long as you know that you're going to be a good mom and be able to provide for your baby, then I don't think you should care what other people say. Like, just ignore what they say. Like... They don't know shit about your life. They don't know shit about your situation, like you said. So, they don't need to be speaking on it. And it's, like, hard to get yourself in the, like, I don't give a fuck about what other people think mentality. But I recently have switched that mentality. And let me tell you, life is a lot better and you are a lot happier. Mm -hmm. Why is an alarm going off? Mm -hmm. But yeah, so just try to not care about what other people say. Or, you know, you can always take the other way and beat their ass or whatever. <laughs> Alright, so here's the next scenario. So I have feelings for this one dude, but this dude is like the biggest hoe ever. Like one minute with one bitch and the other with another bitch and all my friends have either liked him or messed with him the only time me and him talk is when i sell him edibles or when he come over to my house to smoke with my brother or just some dms on instagram and none of my friends know that i like him so should i keep it to myself but still continue to sell him or what so continue to sell to him or what I mean, you should still continue to sell because money is money. But yeah, get that money for sure. But it's gonna be hard. But you just gotta move it on. You can't. Yeah, if all those other hole. people couldn't tie him down. You can't tie him down. He needs to do some working within himself mm -hmm. to change that. Ain't nothing gonna change that but himself. So you just gotta move on and find somebody that's actually yeah. gonna treat you how you deserve to be treated. Don't mess with him if he's a hoe. Don't. <clears throat> but, like we said, get your money. Mm hmm. Or, you can keep him as a hoe. Not if you're a little, attached, though, because that's like. Be a little pimp or whatever. So, you know, don't do that. Don't do that unless you're one of the girls that can stop themselves from catching feelings, because I can. All right. Situation number three, my boyfriend and I started dating three days ago and I changed my bio to our date the same day, but his still says single and it's bothering me that he hasn't changed it. What should I do? 
um i think the first thing that you should do is text him or call him or whatever and ask him why he didn't change it and if it was just something like he forgot or something like that then he can just change it to y'all's date and if he's doing it on purpose and like don't want to change it then he gotta go he gotta go you gotta leave that motherfucker in the past because mm -hmm. if he's with you and got single in his bio that means he don't want other girls to know that he's in a relationship which is being a hoe so but yeah just ask him first okay this is the next situation this girl wants to be my best friend but she act fake all the time you want to say anything you just gotta cut those people out your life and just eventually somebody's gonna, gonna come along i know it's tiring going through the same process getting to know somebody just for it to like not work out or anything with best friends relationships like anything but if you know because like obviously you're already having doubts if you know that it doesn't really have the potential to take it where you want to take it and be on that other level type shit like y'all are the bestest of friends like no barriers in between well not barriers but like no secrets no like i don't even know how to describe it just being like the like how best friends are supposed to be then if you already have a doubt that she can't fulfill that then you just need to start searching for the next one yeah because you don't want to be best friends with somebody who you know is fake and who's gonna be fake like so just don't be friends with her because sometimes you know the motherfuckers for years and then they exactly, switch around and you're like, like you could know a motherfucker for so many you. years like they could be old bitch for so many years and switch up like that like you could think they just y'all just the closest of friends the bestest of friends and then boom they do some fake ass shit so just don't even don't even pay attention to it just start to slowly fade away from her all right next situation i need advice on my relationship i've been talking to this boy for almost two months he never wants to facetime i've asked him before and he changes the subject or he makes up an excuse but the worst part is he sends me snaps of him full face talking so it's weird that he does that but won't facetime me then he takes hours to respond sometimes and he magically always has an excuse i don't know what to think about it okay so <clears throat> can i go first it's my turn to sure. go first Dang. but um i would just say that's weird like it feels like um it seems like he's not giving you as much attention as you want so either you tell him that he needs to get his stuff together and make the time to FaceTime you and stuff, or he gotta go, cause. But you should also consider maybe the whole FaceTime thing is because like, like everybody always has a different situation. What if his mom and dad, like his dad is abusive towards his mom or his mom is abusive towards his dad and freaking he doesn't want you hearing that in the background on facetime or something so like then he sends you snaps when he's talking when that's not all going on so like everybody has a different situation so you should or just, maybe he not allowed to talk to girls yeah so maybe you should just like i don't know you gotta confront him about the situation but also be understanding of his half and don't automatically assume that he's cheating and like attack him like bring it up as a conversation be like i want to talk about this i want to fix this don't be like so i've noticed you've been doing this like fucking explain yourself <laughs> don't attack him like just communicate all right next one says there's this guy that's my old friend's boyfriend but i'm pretty sure they broke up but he exclaims that he likes me so i see it as a shocking wait i see it as shocking knowing that that's my old best friend or that's my old friend's ex 
and even though me and her are no longer friends and still don't think it's right to go out with him plus he's ugly to me and I don't like him and this goes on for a week and then he starts acting as if I'm his girlfriend or something because he began mad at me for no reason and dropping emojis like this she put the mad emoji in the like the one where they like blowing out air or whatever but today he says that's not or but today he says that he's not interested into me and say this oh says this was all a joke but i even got a screenshot of him telling his ex that he liked me and i or and no i don't know oh and now i don't know what to believe but my gut but do you think it was wrong for me to cut him off because he does too much mm -mm. no if he's if it was a joke then just ignore it like they don't talk to him or none of that like because that's weird like people just be wasting people's times for real and that's annoying and weird as fuck so he's just a weird person and i don't think you should communicate to him anymore and i don't think it's wrong for well never mind i feel like it still would be wrong for you to date that person i don't know maybe it's just me but like even though like if a girl that i'm friends with does me dirty or whatever and then her ex trying to hit me up i feel like i still wouldn't like fuck with them though but but at the same time i have done that before so like i guess it depends on the girl like and how close she was with them because mm, all right next one says hey rain first i want to say you're beautiful thanks <laughs> and also i have a crush on this boy but he has a girlfriend and i get really jealous and me and him have gotten close and he wants us to be friends with benefits but i feel like that i want him for myself and i don't want to share am i being selfish mm -mm. you don't be selfish that's your right like I don't think it's being selfish, but also I don't think that you should uh, be anything with him yeah. while he has a girlfriend. Because that just shows you, like, He'd if he's really talking to you while he got a girl, he gonna do the same thing to you. So just don't even bother with him. You gotta on to the next because... Mm -mm. you're gonna end up getting cheated on you might as well just cut them off now this is for your mukbang video but basically i like this dude and he's not really my type look wise but really funny and makes me happy to talk to but this other dude that has a crush on me or whatever was triggered when he commented on my post and won't leave me alone about it and keeps roasting the fuck out of him so now they're both really awkward to talk to what do i do I love you, man. I love you too. <laughs> yeah, whoever the dude was that was just dogging people out on your post or whatever. I mean, I'm assuming no, she was saying like they dog. He was dogging him like through their messages, like he was talking about it to her, like dogging the dude. I'm confused. That had commented under her post. The guy that commented on her post and his boy that has a crush on her had saw it and got mad. Oh. And he was texting her, like, dogging the dude. Oh. Oh, shit, you got it um, now. I don't know what to do. I would just say... Uh, if, if that guy is, like, always gonna just dog the other one whenever you're talking to him, I would just say stop talking to him, because that's weird. But, I mean, like, if you don't... If you don't have a crush on him back... Then I would say just cut him off because that's weird. But uh, that's weird that he like is texting you dog another dude if like you don't even want to be with him for real. But yeah. Okay, here's the next one. So these three fem females really trying to jump, but they won't pull up and they've had the Addy for three weeks and they keep talking about they finna be my ass, but yet again won't pull up. Crazy. Same shit that happens to me. Mm -hmm. Just like mom. 
females be weird and claim they gonna do the most. But then as soon as you they see you don't do shit. I'm already hit happens to me all the time. You're Just good. ignore them bitches because they ain't gonna do shit for real. Will you open toy slurs? Mm-hmm. All right, here's the next one. I really like this boy, but I have a feeling he doesn't like me and I need to know how to get him to fall for me, you know. Please give me advice. Um You can't like if he wasn't well actually apparently playing hard to get makes someone more attracted to you. Heard that. Well she said she feel like you don't really like her for real. Well, but she I feel like know. just act more confident, like do things that make you act more confident. Like if you like to do your hair and that makes you feel confident, do that. If you like to dress up to make you feel confident, do that. If you like to put on makeup to feel confident, do that. Like even if it's just little stuff like putting on lip gloss and lashes and stuff like this, do things that make you feel confident confident and then i feel like also if you want him to start liking you like i don't know if y'all are like friends or something or what the situation is but like i would say just like try to make yourself more noticeable to him so like do little things like i don't know like walk past him every once in a while like Mm, if y'all are friends or whatever like talk to him go talk to him every once in a while or just like say what's up whenever y'all is walking past each other whenever y'all see each other little stuff like that and i feel like um if he does like you then eventually he'll catch on okay next one says Hey, so this is for the mukbang video. I'm having a problem with this girl and she pretended to be my bestie, but she's spreading rumors about me. So, yeah. Locker, cut out your life. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to that bitch no more. <laughs> and like <clears throat> all the people like, like since one person spreads the rumors and then everybody else starts talking about it. And that's fake. If... If you hear somebody or talking about the rumor or somebody comes up to you, be like, this is true. Tell them the truth or whatever. Be like, and if anybody else got any more questions about it, tell them they can come to me and not go asking other people questions because I'm the only one that you will get the truth out of. You need to confront your best and, too, and be like, why are you talking about me if you're supposed to be my bestie? Like, bitch, keep my name out your mouth. The fuck? It's weird as fuck. Bitches be bonkers <laughs> so i've seen your post about the advice thing and i wanted to ask you this so i'm a foster kid been in the system since i was one and i'm 15 now and people having now been pressing me to get adopted and i really don't want to but they're making me seem like i have no choice in this and i feel like people are just bringing me down a little with the whole situation but i want to know what i should do hmm I mean, hold up. I'm trying to read. All right. If you don't want to be adopted, like, don't let any, like, I don't know. Like, you can't do stuff you don't want to do. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. Yeah, don't let them pressure you into being adopted. Like, you don't have to get adopted. Like, if you don't want to, I mean, if you do, then go ahead and go for it. But, like, if people's pressuring you and you're not ready, then just take your time. Like, and maybe, don't do something because other people's, like, encouraging you or pressuring you to do it. Maybe if they're pressuring you, I don't know if they, like, know that you don't want to be adopted or not. But if they keep pressuring you and they don't know, just tell them, be like, I don't want to be adopted or whatever. So I'm gonna need you to like back up and quit being on my shit because you're annoying the fuck out of me. Mm-hmm. This boy low-key feel me, but he barely answered me. 
he mad fine no what should i do like he be saying i'm looking good but then don't answer me <clears throat> let's play games yeah i would say either tell him like is you trying to fuck with me or is we just wasting our time because <clears throat> people do be playing games and be trying to lead people on and stuff and that's not cool mm -hmm. so just ask him about it and if he and even like if he say like he do want to still mess with you and stuff or he want to try messing with you or being with you or whatever and he's still like only texting back every once in a while just cut him off because mm -hmm. people be lying I really like this guy and he considers me as his sister, but I really like him. He seemed like he likes me, but he's closing himself off because he doesn't want to ruin our friendship. And I'm really scared to tell him because I know it'll make things weird between us. It's kind of scary to be honest. Mm -hmm. I should... <clears throat> um, I feel like, okay, so you can either go two ways. You can either tell him and possibly have it ruin your relationship or like ruin your friendship or like make it awkward or you can tell him and y'all like, I mean, or you cannot tell him and like he just never know and you just like keep your friendship or whatever. But so if you value the friendship more, I feel like you should stay with the friendship but if you want to tell him that you like him then tell him see how it goes if it don't go out so well then oh well just get a different friend i don't know <laughs> hold up though because i've been thinking about this one since i'm kind of in the same relationship or not relationship the same situation but freaking this is what you need to do you need to drop more hints, like be more bold, not bold, bold, but like, I don't know, casually in conversation, say some slick shit every once in a while. And that's going to get him to start thinking about it. But if he starts to act like, I don't even know, more off than I guess, like just back off or whatever. But I feel like you should tell him, like, wait a little bit after you start dropping hips and stuff and tell him. Because if you tell him and then everything succeeds and everything, and you don't have to suffer no more. Because I know you suffer. Because I, I know the same exact feeling. Or, hold on, what was I about to say? Oh, but the whole just, like, um, it, like, being awkward and ruining the friendship and stuff. Honestly, it's only going to be awkward for a little bit. And if it's still awkward after like a couple like after like two or three months or it just completely ruins the friendship altogether then it wasn't that strong of a friendship to mm -hmm. be with and it was eventually gonna end anyway yep you just gotta keep it moving you i think you should actually now i think you should tell him because like you only live once so like might as well if you want that person go after him if it don't work out it's gonna be somebody else there for but you but make so. sure he knows it's coming it's not out the blue like i said drop hints and stuff that way he knows what's going on. All right. So my situation is that I have a boyfriend as we have been dating for three months. And there is this other boy that I ain't told him about that I have been talking to. And he is injured. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Then my boyfriend, I don't know what to do. Like, do I tell him or not? Or should I break up with him? Well, if you like the other dude to make up with your boyfriend, give it that yeah. way, dude. Yeah, because you don't want to keep leading your boyfriend on if mm -hmm. you're going to end up being with the other dude anyways or end up cheating on your boyfriend or something like that. Because your boyfriend so, don't deserve that. So just, I would say, if you don't want to be with your boyfriend anymore, then just break up with your boyfriend. But if you do still want to be with your boyfriend, I would say cut the other dude off and stop talking to him. Because you can't have both unless you're trying to be a little or whatever <laughs> but hey if you want to have hoes you got to be single though so you still got to break up with your boyfriend either way mm -hmm. right the last one says 
I need advice on when a guy you just met says he wants you to be his girlfriend and you are not sure what to do. Just met like how soon? Um, I would say just like tell him, well it depends. If you potentially see, you didn't need to do all that while I was fucking talking. Anyways, if you see potential like y'all being in a relationship in the future then i would say like tell him that you try to take things slower or like that he's moving too fast but if you don't like him back then just be like i ain't trying to do all that you doing too much i'm not trying to do all that sir calm down but yeah that was the last one we didn't get to eat these I'm cool. Brain. <laughs> Why would you do that? Great. Okay. Anyways. I'm going to eat a red one. The blue's the best, though. Y'all ever had these before? These Jolly Rancher chews. They're good. As the fuck. Where'd it go? Oh. Damn, these bitches are hard. Do they always like that? Mm -mm. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, all that. I'm gonna put her Instagram right here so y'all can follow her. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all niggas pussies, yeah, I know you feel offended. Dumbass. Devil in my eyes, why you summon all these demons? Dumbass. Lord, please forgive me, I did sense for no reason. Dumbass. Try to chase my dream, I gotta go out here and get it out.